Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Virginia and the results from Virginia. And what it means, what it signals, the key takeaways, and, and just kind of run through everything. But before we do that, we should probably set the scene. For those people who aren't familiar with politics in Virginia, we should probably explain what people were expecting or in some cases hoping for going into the election yesterday. Now, the Republican Party, they were hopeful. What they planned for was to expand control in the House, where they already had a majority, and take the Senate. That was their plan because a lot of polling said that that was something that, I mean, could realistically happen. And they were so certain of the opinions of the commoners of Virginia that the governor came out and said, hey, if you give me control of the House and the Senate, I will give you a 15-week ban. I, I'm, I'm sorry, not a ban, not a ban, a limit, a 15-week limit on reproductive rights. And then went on to basically promise to turn the state into the worst aspects of like Mississippi and Texas. Um, the, the voters in Virginia heard that and they were kind of like, yeah, no, that sounds horrible, actually. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. So the results of the election, the Democratic Party retained control of the Senate and took over the House. Effectively, uh, well, <laughs> there's a funny word that I could use here, but uh, effectively blocking the governor's legislative agenda for next year. Um, so... At the end of this, it's not just about Virginia politics because Governor Yunkin was somebody who was seen as an up-and-comer in the Republican Party, somebody who was seen who could actually be the presidential candidate if, say, you know, Trump had to go on an extended vacation somewhere. That seems really unlikely now. Uh, to recap the events from yesterday, in Ohio, Kentucky, and Virginia, everything swung blue. I'm actually kind of curious what would have happened if, you know, Democrats in, in Mississippi had actually run people. Um, because a lot of those races were uncontested. The, uh, the overall message here, the one key takeaway... Be very uh, leery of the polling and, and the pundits and all the commentary that's going on right now. It, it may not reflect the reality on the ground when people show up. There are a lot of people who are unhappy about a right-wing authoritarian push trying to take away their rights. Go figure. Um, and that definitely played out yesterday in, in places that are not really known as, as like liberal places. Now, with what Republicans were expecting to occur in Virginia versus what happens, I, I, I'm sure that they're feeling that, like, that they've lost all of their power. It's important to remember, this isn't a ban on your power. It's a limit. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.